Good afternoon, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 21st, and that means modern, and boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. There are 78 decks in this deck dump, the biggest deck dump since before, right before the Pioneer format was introduced. Uh, it's the first one that we've seen that is fully within the Ikoria time frame, and uh, spoiler alert, over 40% of the decks in this deck dump use a companion. So let's see which ones show up, and let's see how Ikoria is affecting the format right now. First off, we've got Six Mu with Eldrazi Tron. And this looks pretty straightforward. I don't see anything new in this one. El Yalo. El Yayo. Could be Yayo. El Yayo. With humans. And we got General Kudro. We have Giganta as the companion. Draineth Magistrate in the side. Uh, that's going to be great for stopping other companions. Tell you that. Lava Brink Venturer, an interesting one to uh, comes in the battlefield. You get Otter Even and it gets protection from that. You choose one. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, so quite a bit here. It'd be interesting to watch. There's a lot of human support in the new new set, so be interesting to see what happens with humans. Sanso JF with looks like. Uh, is this a Bant Heliod deck? It is a Bant Heliod deck. Do we have any new stuff in here? I don't see any. Interesting. Um, Grand Abolisher. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's just trying to shut down you interacting with them while they combo off. So, yeah. Try to force it through and it worked for him. The Pin Sword, <clears throat> excuse me, with looks like is this Just Guy Control or is this no, this is Blue Red Control with Yadaro. Um yeah, Yadaro. Um gotta love a haste turtle. Hasty turtles. So cycles for two. If you cycle it four times, it goes into play, otherwise it gets shuffled into your library, and you get eight eight haste trample for that two mana, but you have to do it four times. So, interesting deck. I don't see anything else new in it. Clarostorix with Infect, and no new cards. Good day with Jeskai Sahili, and Yorion. I was going to say 30 lands looked a little high for Just Guy Sahili. So this is a Yorion deck. So it's going 80 cards. Uh, so there's another companion for you. I don't see any other new cards in it, though. Razdan 08 with um, a mill deck. Mesmeric Orbs. Glimpses. Archive traps, all the good stuff. I see no new cards. Raysans with Burn and Luris. This is the first one we're going to see of Luris. And spoiler alert, I did I did go through it because I wanted to see what what, what I was in for with this video because I knew this dump was going to be crazy. There are seventeen Luris decks, and I believe. Uh, I want to say there are seven different archetypes that use Luris. So we've got Burn here as the first one. GCA Dragonstorm with... Uh, this is Jeskai Wur. And no... Nothing new in this deck. Jeskai Wur. Wurza. EDB gets a 5-0 with Amulet Titan. And this one looks pretty straightforward. I don't see no new lands either. 
Yeah, don't see anything new here. Ice 9 with... This is the Boros Land Hate deck. Yeah. Look at all that land hate. And then Mana Tides on top of it. Goblin Dark Dweller, so you can cast them again. And Rekindling Phoenix as the win con. Uh, probably winning a lot via uh, concession as well. Soul Tithe. Wow. That's that suppression field. That This deck is just mean. Elven 7 with Affinity. Um, Harden Scales. Harden Scales Affinity with the Ozolith. No surprise there. And Loris as the as the companion get used to this one i think we're going to be seeing this deck a lot this this looks like ozolith is a huge deal with modular uh, you basically get to double those counters how um, one set of them go on to another artifact and then the ozolith gets a copy of them too so that that's something to be watching for mordekaiser with Niv Mizzet, I've seen them talking about this deck on the Discord, and this is a relatively straightforward version. He is running Yorion as his companion for this, and Wheel of Sun and Moon is good. Is there anything else new? One of the Triomes in the mana base, the, uh, the Teamer one. Don't see anything else. There wasn't other than Yorion and possibly Gigantha, depending on what you want to do for um, a Wrath, because Supreme Verdict can't be played if you're running Gigantha. Uh, this this deck didn't pick up a whole lot other than those couple of cards. Tuho Jatani, um, Umori. Uh, Faithless Brewing guys, Dan was right. Umori made it first week. Every non-land permanent in the deck is a creature. So that fits the uh, companion condition for Umori. And then it just makes those creatures cheaper. And it does look like we've got... So just going up to prime time. Just kind of a gruel aggro deck. Or almost even Gruel mid-range, but not the Gruel mid-range we've been seeing with the pillages. This is just making them cheaper with Umori. Jay-Z gets a 5-0 with fairies. Cool. Not seen fairies in a while. And nothing new in it, but just good old tempo control fairies. Mashmalovsky with the Yogmoth combo. This one is mono black. So it's not the same as the mono green version or the green black version, but yep, Yogmoth combo. Showtime gets a 5 0 with Galia Gruanaya uh, aggro. Yep, there's those wild Nakatos. And we've got Luris as the companion. And yeah, so now we've seen Burn and Zoo with uh, Luris. We'll see more. Did we see it? No, we didn't. Gaucho has Dredge. And nothing new in this deck. This is good old Dredge. Store Shop 215 with Simic Reclamation. Got your Nexus of Fates. I see no new cards in this one. Bathtub Tuna with... This is not Titan Field. There's... Okay. So this is Madcap Titan. There's no Scape Shift. There's no Field of the Dead. There's no Amulet of Vigor. Instead, we've got four 
Primeval Titans for Valakuts, but we also have Madcap Experiment to reveal an artifact. What's the artifact? Platinum Empyrean. There it is. Uh, frequently you'll see two Empyreans in the deck, but yeah. So this is trying to win through yeah, through big big threats and then your life total can't change. And then Valakut. And it's got a fair number of things it can board into, but nothing new in the deck. Des Duel with looks like Traverse Shadow. So this is going to be Jund Shadow, I think. Yep. Let's see the fire. Luris. Here's another Luris. So now we've got Jund Shadow, Zoo, and Burn with Luris. I'm going to write these down so I can remember as we go. Jund, Shadow, Burn, Zoo. Let's see what else we find. Uh, 80 cards. This looks like a Yorion deck. And yes, it is. And it is uh, Kiki Cord. Oh, that's exactly... Oh, I didn't even think of Kiki Cord as an option for Yorion. Why not go to 80 cards with a Toolbox deck? Right? That sounds like a totally great plan. Because you just have more tools to choose from. And it's got the... Uh, Sahili combo, it's got the Kiki Resto Kiki, no, no Restos we're just going for the Sahili combo here a little surprised there's no uh, Restoration Angel in the deck there's a Triome um, not seeing anything else new but yeah, the Kiki Core just feels natural for Yorion Binge Summer with, is this Jun Shadow as well? Bubble, or is this four color? We have any blue? Yeah, this is this is four color shadow, and no, nothing new in this one. Shadows two thousand five with Vizier. Uh, is this devoted company? This is just the devoted druid combo. This is the all in combo version with the post mortem lunges. Luris. All right, so Luris now with Devoted Druid. We're up to four archetypes for Luris. I don't see anything else new here, though. Oh. Oxy with Moxie. With another Kiki Cord deck with Yorion. So obviously the Kiki Cord players are like, cool, we get 20 more cards to choose from. And we've got, this one's got Restoration Angel in it. And Vencer, that's interesting. Huntmaster. Lots of stuff you want to blink, definitely. Um, this one does not have the Sahili combo. This one's going for Resto Kiki. Soul Herder. Is this a Kiki Core deck or is this a Soul Herder deck? Your call. But it's definitely an interesting one. So we got Yorion. Yorion's the only new card I see here. Yeah. DM95 with Delver. And there's Loris again. So now we've got Delver. That's five. And we are Grixis. Grixis Delver. Yep. Nothing. Thing else new other than Loris. Coert with uh, this is the Heliod. This is the green white Heliod combo. Well, no, this is Obzon. Yeah, the Obzon Heliod combo deck. So we've got the Heliod Walking Ballista combo. We've got the Anafenza Kitchen Finks or Spike. We've got all your different little combos here. Murderous Red Cap. So this is, you know, collected combos kind of. Any... I don't see anything new. No companion or anything. Okay. Parrot gets a 5-0 with 
Harden Scales Affinity. Here we go. And there's Lurus in this one. And the Ozolith. So Lurus now gets Harden Scales. Um, animation modules. Yeah, we just want counters everywhere. Throne of Geth is great little um, Chalice of the Void insurance. Because you can proliferate their Chalice. Okay then, Pistone 11 with Storm. And this one has Gigantha as the com companion. And that makes sense because, yeah, nothing in here has got... It rarely, you know, rarely has more than one mana symbol, let alone duplicate mana symbols. Mine, 0126 with Eldrazi in Taxes. Now, what is this? Bone Crusher. This is kind of Eldrazi in taxes. I've never seen it with Bone Crusher Giant, so that's new to me. So this is red, white Eldrazi in taxes. Doesn't have the... Uh, Aether Vials. It's going with Chalices instead. So, almost kind of a prison... prison-y deck. No new cards, but this is interesting. I like this. Epic Win 42 with Electro Dominance, or Electro Balance, I guess. And no new cards in this one, but we see this deck occasionally. Definitely. Flat Nose gets a 5-0 with Merfolk. And this is Tropical Merfolk. And I don't see anything new. But deck that... Oh, yep, it is definitely blue Yep, deck that always hangs around. Damgar gets a 5-0 with Tron. And no new cards in this one. Two main deck, Thrag Tusk and a Koza. Seeing Koza like more and more in the main deck of Tron. And that's an interesting shift. Just needing the counter spells is useful. <clears throat> Magic Ed gets a 5-0 with Jund. Boy, Jund has changed, hasn't it? We have no... I, I say Jund has changed, but it's really not that much different. It's the same idea. It's trying to two-for-one you all the time. Clothis uh, in this one is, is new. I have not seen that in Jund. Usually it's two Croxa. But, yep. Nothing, no new uh, Ikoria cards in here. AC Clem with Neobrand. And, yeah. That's it there. Nothing new. And it's Neobrand. Coert again with a 5 0 with Lurus Burn. So we've got two burns. But it's yet another Loris deck. Okay. Johnny Volta with Kiki Cord. Another Kiki Cord deck. We got a Triome in here. This one is four Restos in this one. This is much more on the Resto Kiki combo. We do have a Glenolindra, Ephemerates, and Yorion. So three Kiki Cord decks in this dump, thanks to Yorion. I think almost entirely. Traft gets a 5-0 with blue-white control. And Luris. Luris in a control deck. Because why not? You can recast those snapcasters from the graveyard. That's or actually, it's not at sorcery speed it or does Luris force Oh it does, it's not bringing up Luris. But you, it's, I think it's just on your turn that you can cast it. So, yeah, maybe. Obviously, it worked for them. Bit Fliffer with Goblins. And this is the Combo Goblins version. With the Metallic Mimics and the Grum Gullies and all that fun stuff. And other than that, nothing new. But fun deck to play. Bullwinkle 6705 with 
uh, dredge. And no new cards in it. Doesn't really need new cards, to be honest, to do its thing. Yep. Phantasmal Bear is back with... Uh, this is just Rug Scapeshift. Yep. No new cards. No prime times. Just trying to kill you with Valakuts and Uros. Zio Jimbo with Jund. This is the two crux of Jund. No Lilianas, which tells me Luris. Um, yeah, so Jund is running Luris now. And this is not the Death Shadow Jund. This is just Jund. It's just not playing Lilianas. Imagine giving up Liliana for Luris. That sounds like a crazy plan, but there's so many good two drops in this deck that just being able to re reuse them, uh, that's the Jund way, right? Two for ones. Get to reuse your card, get a two for one again. Wow. Never thought I'd see Jund drop Liliana. Enlightened Muppet with Bant Snow Control. And I don't see anything new in this one. Straightforward Bant Snow Control. X-File with Hardened Scales Affinity with Loris. It's back. And not running the Ozolith. So he is running Kinnon, though. So what taps for mana? Oh, yeah. It's a non when a non-land tops for mana, so all your artifacts, or when you tap, yeah, those are all going to give you extra mana. Okay, I see it. Dog Mac, Dog Macmer, Dog Mac Mister, with ad nauseum, and nothing new in this one, but good old ad nauseum. I believe ad nauseum won yesterday's modern challenge, if. I recall. It won something big yesterday. So watch for Ad Nauseum. Might show up more in the uh, in the leagues now that it got a big win. And here we've got Living End from Dark Samurai. And nothing new in this one. It'll be interesting to see if... None of the cycling costs are really that cheap in Ikoria, but it'll be interesting to see if Living End picks up a cycling card or two from that set. Source Odin with Uroza. And it's Yorion. I, I had it took me a minute. I didn't see the 80 cards at first. But uh, yeah, Uroza and all the good Simic cards you want to play. And yeah. Card pool is deep and modern. 80 cards just allows you more good stuff in your deck the power level with a couple of exceptions they're just strong cards so yeah you're not hitting your absolute best cards as often when you go to 80 but you're still hitting good cards because it's modern and modern is huge saburo 0827 with red green midrange the newest hottest deck that we have seen in modern lately Two Glory Bringers is the top end, and a Storm Breath Dragon. Four Pillages instead of three, and only three Lightning Bolt. Running the fourth Pillage over the fourth Bolt. That is a choice for you, and that tells you where we're at in Modern these days. M. Hayashi with... This is... Boros... Uh, not it's not blitz it's boros prowess with lurus it's not really burnt mishra's bobble in this deck that floors me so we've got uh prowess as another lurus archetype bobcats with Bant Urza. 
Bant Breach. This is the Underworld Breach combo deck. Okay, Grinding Station. Yep. There you go. Any new cards? I don't think so. All right, so Breach combo from Bobcat. Moksha gets a 5-0 with... What is this? This is green, blue, black, red. This is four color snow control. Haven't seen this in a while. Loris again here. So we got four color snow control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different decks running Loris as a companion. Saka 93 with Living End. And. Yeah, nothing new in the in unpredictable cyclone. That's new, yes. Oh yeah, because it helps with cycling. So you get to cast cast things for free when you cycle, cast the same card type. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that handle. You can see it on the screen. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, we have here is Kodotha Rebirth deck. So this is a mono red aggro Kodotha Rebirth. Just trying to kill you as fast as possible. Yep. Snipers are bums. And he's playing Niv Mizzet. And this is a 60 card deck. So. Nothing funny. We got two wishes. No new cards. Good old Niv. Koiko Koikoi ninety one with uh, this is Titan Shift and nothing new in this one. Nope. Finite Fly with uh, Eldrazi and Texas. Nothing new. Rum Cloak Giant's kind of cool. Nothing new. Smedster with Heliod uh, Coco. So green white Heliod. We have. Uh, we don't have the Vizier combo, but we've got Zerda as our companion. So that's. Everything has to have an activated ability. Which is why we don't have the Vizier of Remedies in here, because that doesn't work. Duskwatch, Displacer, Giver. Uh, yep, everything's got one. Cool. DM95 with a Kahira companion deck. And this is Elementals. Five color Elementals. Cool. Each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast. I'm a little... I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Elementals was the first one of these to make it into the list. I thought uh, people would be all over the cats and try that. It'll be interesting to see if someone can come up with a Beast deck and 5-0 with that. That would be kind of cool to see. Ivan Cantanduva, probably from Brazil, given that name. Ivan? Sorry, not Ivan. Ivan. And this is Bant Spirits. And yeah, nothing new. Good old Bant Spirits. Kayato with uh, this is Titan Field. And I don't see anything new. Okay. KBR3 with Hardened Skills Affinity with Loris. That's our fourth one, I think, in the deck, in the dump. So they're all just slightly different. Enough different that we're seeing four of them now. Renko with Breach. Through the Breach. Jund Breach. Gorio's Vengeance. Through the Breach. Gristlebrand. Illarg. All the different ways to cheat in Emrakuls or Gristlebrands. Nothing new that it looks like. Sydney Dude gets a 5 0 with Green Red Aggro. Actually, no, this is 
This is Naya Stoneblade. Yeah. Four Magus of the Moon main. No new cards. Predicted gets a 5-0 with green-black Yagmoth combo. And, yep, good to see it. That's, so we saw the mono-black Yagmoth earlier, which was a new one, and green-black here, the one we're used to seeing. Final nub with Teamer, Teamer Snow Control. Or are we four-color? We got planes? We got planes. We have no planes. So this is Teamer Snow. And, yeah, nothing new. No new cards, I should say. We do have three time warps, which is an interesting choice here. I guess you can. Can you Mystic Sanctuary? I, I don't play Mystic Sanctuary, so I don't know if you can get a lock here, but you can get a cryptic lock. I know that much. Rune gets a 5-0 with Heliod combo. We are green-white. Now we're Obzon. This is an Obzon deck. Doesn't have Anafenza, which you frequently see. Umbral Mantle. We have an infinite combo here. If there is one, I'm not seeing it. Interesting, interesting little tweaks here with the Mantle and Vivian's Arcbow. I like it. Oh, I see, because it's a Zerda deck. Okay. So Zerda wants everything to have activated abilities. And uh, each permanent in your deck has an activated ability. Okay. So that's why the Umbral Mantle and the Sword has an equip cost and the Arcbow. Okay. Nice little tweak there. I like it. Pharamo 728 with another Luris deck, and this is Luris Jund again. Giving, wow, that's two different people now who have given up um, Liliana for Luris. And that, again, that just floors me. Flank attack 27 with 80. So this is a Yorion deck, and we're on Kennen. And we've got one Triome, and we are basically Simic Snow. Teamer. Teamer Snow. Okay. Shuffler owned with Urza. No worry of, of invention. Uh, no new cards. Got Narset, but okay. So it's just a, a blue, blue black Urza. So Demir Urza. Cordo Twin with Death Shadow. Which Death Shadow? Are? We're Mardu Shadow. And I don't see anything new. Uh, have we seen Grixis Shadow yet? I don't think we have. MTG Pirate with Bogles. A mana tithe main. That's cool. And Loris. So, boggles for your Loris. Cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, Loris has been great in Pioneer with the Orzov Auras deck. So, it's no surprise that it works here with boggles. Karusu with another Kiki Core deck with Yorion. And all your tools. I think Yorion's the only new card in it, though. Brainstorm 39 gives us four color snow and Yorion. So 80 card, four color snow. Cool. So we've seen four color snow with Lurus. Did we, or did it? Was that Yorion? I'd have to go back and look. I wrote it down as being a Loris deck, so I could be wrong there. Lucky Strike with Black White Eldrazi. Don't see anything new. Munin 40 
with Jund. And he kept his Lilianas. So hats off to you. Don't see any new cards. Of course, this might have been... His, he may have started the league before the Ikoria cards were available. We have Black White Eldrazi again with Paranoid Android 700. And I don't see any new cards in this one, just a slightly different build. Spellvine with Mono Red Blitz. And nothing new in this one. And our last deck, we made it through. Infect with Loris. That's one I expected. Yeah. So we saw a lot of decks. We saw a lot of companions. We saw a lot of different ways to use Loris. It's early, but wow, this is, I mean, 41%, I think it was, of the decks in this deck dump had a companion. And that's a lot. So as two things are going to happen here, right? Cards are going to become more available on MTGO and more people are going to start tweaking decks and trying things and maybe trying to work against things. So let's see what happens. But this is a, a uh, strong start for the companion mechanic. Let's put it that way. Not seeing a whole lot else. We saw Kinnon two or three times. Um, not seeing a whole lot else from the set yet. Everyone's focused on the companions, so let's see where it goes. That's it for today. Thanks a ton for hanging through this. This was a big dump. This was a big one. But um, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming. And tomorrow I will be... Uh, I'm not going to do a video tomorrow. I'm skipping the uh, the preliminary results because we're mixed between the two formats and I didn't even mention that Guy Ruta is banned right now because there's a bad interaction with Leyline of the Void so they've just banned the card for now so we'll probably be seeing that next week but yeah no video tomorrow because I'm letting the different events shake out and then we'll take a look at the metagame again from the inception of Ikoria Online and see where we are. That's it. Take care, and we will talk to you Thursday. Bye.